A California businessman is calling on the U.S. to do more to help Christians being persecuted in Iraq. Mark Arabo is a prominent leader of the Chaldean community, a Christian community, an ancient one that is now literally being threatened with disappearance. He joins us from San Diego, California. Thanks so much for being with us. It sounds, frankly, like a nightmare. Uh, a group of extremists bent on atrocities is now openly and officially targeting Christians in Iraq. What's going on? This is truly a living nightmare that's not going away. Uh, Christianity in Mosul is dead, and a Christian Holocaust is in our midst. Seven weeks ago, we went to Washington, D.C., and we actually were calling this a Christian genocide. And since then, day by day, it's getting worse and worse. More children are being beheaded. Mothers are being raped and killed. The fathers are being hung. But right now, uh, 300,000 Christians are in Iraq fleeing, living in neighboring cities, just wanting a chance not just to survive, but to live. And we've been talking on State Department. Uh, we had a, a meeting at the White House last week with Ben Rhodes, uh, myself and other Calian community leaders throughout the country. And what we're saying is folks should follow Francis Lee. They should offer asylum. The world community should come together. We've had tremendous success in Washington with Congressman Juan Vargas authoring H.R. 683. I, I, I want to go back. Forgive me for interrupting. I want to go back to something you said because uh, the atrocities committed by ISIS are well known, but still you're, you're, you're startling me with the severity of what you're describing. You say they are beheading children? They are systematically beheading children and mothers and fathers. The world hasn't seen uh, an eagle like this for generations. Uh, there's actually a park in Mosul that they've actually beheaded children and put their heads on a stick and they have them in the park. This is crimes against humanity. The whole world should come together. This is much broader than a community or, or a faith. This is crimes against humanity and they're the, doing the most horrendous, the most heartbreaking crimes you could think of. Now, I, I want to ask you specifically about what happened in Mosul, because uh, it was widely reported that when ISIS took control of Mosul, which, depending on how you do the numbers, is the second largest city in Iraq, they gave Christians an ultimatum, which would be to convert to Islam, to pay a fine, or, in, in their phrase, death by the sword. It's very clear. Um, they are killing people, but are, are Christians managing to escape by, by paying a fine? Are, are the ones who cooperate, at least, assured of any safety? Sure. So the letter that they sent out with those three items, uh, they did ask to pay a fine, but they're actually, after they pay a fine, they're actually taking uh, over their, their wives and their daughters and making them into their wives. So really it's convert or die, uh, face death by the sword. Christians, 95% of all Christians in Mosul have fled, and 5% have converted. They've marked the the red death stamp of ISIS on Christian homes and basically saying, we know who you are, and if you come back, uh, you will get killed. Uh, this is almost, I'm going to ask you, forgive me for interrupting, this is almost a, 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 a kind of a plague out of biblical times. They're literally marking the doors of Christian homes? Yeah, they are, and with the new story, with the, with the letter N, to mark them as Christians. And uh, that's why we're saying this is a Christian holocaust within our midst. And the world community cannot turn a blind eye on something so uh, tragic. So, so much of crimes are coming out. Children are being beheaded. Folks are being killed just because they're being Christian. And it's happening right now. And France is leading the way. We're hoping other countries, we hope the United Nations, recognize this as a Christian genocide. We hope everyone steps up and offers these folks a home. Because this should never be happening in 2014, and it is. Now, you're using the word genocide, and, and I, once again, acknowledging the atrocities of the crimes that have been committed by ISIS. Genocide is a very powerful word. Do you literally think that ISIS is trying to kill all of the Christians who fall in its hands? They're absolutely killing every Christian they see. This is a genocide in every sense of the word. And they want everyone to convert, and they want Sharia law to be the law of the land. And we're talking about... a a place where Christianity was founded over 1,800 years ago. They bombed the church uh, last week. That was an 1,800-year-old church, and they're systematically destroying churches. They've already bombed six churches uh, in the area. And, and no one stopped them. Mark Arable, speaking on behalf of the 
Christians of Iraq. Thanks so much for talking with us. The naked Thank you.